Well, hello everybody and welcome back to Plan With Me. Today we're gonna be working on Monday, May 1 through Sunday, May 7. As always, let's take a look back at last week. Last week was kind of nuts, you guys. Um, in my regular work, you know, work, we are moving our shop space. So really we have been moving all week and then Friday was kind of the last push for the move. So yeah, that was kind of intense. Also, as you guys know, I'm a big NASCAR fan and Dale Jr. is my favorite driver, but unfortunately he announced, I believe it was on Tuesday, I put it in here, junior announcement, that he is no longer going to be racing full time after this season, which is really sad, but I totally understand where he's coming from. He's had a lot of issues in the past. He was not able to race his full season last year because he has had several concussions as many drivers do and you know he didn't know if he'd be able to walk right again and all of that like it was bad but I mean he's fine now but um, I totally get where he's coming from it's just sad to see him leave a little bit earlier than you know a normal race car career but I feel like we're still gonna see him even if he's not gonna be in a race car so anyway that's my junior situation. Um, okay, so as you can see by the bottom here, um, this is all like Churchill is the mortgage company that I am going with and oh my God, they need like all the documentation, you guys. Um, today is actually Sunday, I'm filming right now and I need to do more documents tonight. Like just when you think you have uploaded like every single document you could ever think of, they're like, oh, we need this and we need this and we need this. I'm like, oh my gosh. So anyway, that happened. And then on Saturday, I had a really great time. I went to the Minnesota Planner Meetup and thank you to Krista for this cute little sticker. Um, I'll show the little sampler. This is from Design Pandemonium. Um, Krista partnered with them to make a little sampler, which is cute. I'll leave the Design Pandemonium um, link down below if you guys are interested um, but yeah I love this and then you know Krista was wearing a purple shirt so I was like Krista you're going in my planner so anyway so let's get into this week and speaking of my meetup I actually had a wonderful time as always but we typically like every couple of meetups will do like a swap table so I brought a few things um, unfortunately I had already just done like a huge like D stash on my Instagram page if you guys follow me there so I felt kind of bad but it was fine um, but someone or several people have brought like a lot of washi samples, which I am a huge fan of washi samples, you guys, because I may not want like a full roll of like, say, you know, like Halloween, like scary little eyeballs or um, something like this, like a multicolored like cheetah print or whatever. But anyway, I found some great things and I know I'll end up using them. So what I really wanted to do this week is use one of the washi samples that I got. It's a really pretty orange and it's got kind of like a, I don't know, it's not a white background, but it's like kind of like a gray background. And then also there was this full roll of washi, which is like a gold gold, white, and orange. So I figured I'd go with like an orange theme because, and I think I'm just realizing this. So I did a purple theme here and this is kind of an orange theme too, but whatever, we're just gonna go with it y'all. So we've got some things going on this week and I'm not sure if I wanna use that, I don't know. Like I need to figure out what I wanna do for this. Um, actually tomorrow, I think I'm gonna go in at 6 a.m. I mean, I know that sounds a little bit crazy, but I'm pretty sure I'm gonna go in super early. Um, since the move has been happening, I need to get the office and like my boss's like situation set up um, Friday I was there till four o'clock, which I leave at three every day and I still hadn't like set everything up, unfortunately. So I need to get that done and you know, just moving and I haven't even set up like anything on my, um, my desk. I got like the cleaning done. So I was able to like dust off like my desk and dust off his desk and all of that stuff. But beyond that, I haven't done anything. So I gotta get computers set up and phones set up. And apparently there is Wi-Fi there now, which is good, but I, 
Oh, you guys. I feel like moving an office is a whole lot more difficult than moving a house because at least you know where all your stuff is. And a lot of times when you're moving an office, other people pack up stuff and you're like, wait, where's that? And where's that? And where's that? Like, I don't know. <laughs> all right. And I think, um, you know what? I think I will leave at three o'clock tomorrow. I've got some stuff to do. Uh, I was thinking about leaving at like 3.30. I have an oil change at four, but I think I'm gonna leave at three. Um, I've gotta mail out some prizes. I did an Instagram giveaway for the new Erin Condren hardbound notebooks and everybody got back to me but one. So th I'm actually filming this a little bit later in the day on Sunday. So I gave everybody 24 hours to get back to me and only one person declined to get back to me. Oh darn it, I messed this up. Um, so I have to, randomly select a new winner which is fine that happens whatevs and uh so yeah but there's actually a like mailbox i think it's like a mailboxes etc or something like across the parking lot from the oil change place so i think i'm gonna do that while my oil change is going on you know two birds one stone right so that makes my life a little bit easier and makes me not procrastinate and sometimes i procrastinate on sending out those packages which i love to do like the next day but sometimes i'm just like oh the last thing i want to go do is stand in a long line of people you know what i mean so never. so that is that and then i have my oil change at four but i have to do my packages so let's do packages all right Let's take a look, see. All right, so I'm gonna mail the prizes. Like, honestly, I really have no idea what time I'm leaving work that day, so whatever. That can just be covered up. I don't really, I don't really care. All right, and then I have my oil change, which hopefully won't last too incredibly long, but you know, you never know, you guys. You just never know. All right, and I've got these stickers. I like cut them up a long time ago. They're for, these are from Adriana Piper. And I'm gonna put this little guy on a little sheet here. But I don't know, I love these. These are like these little like auto maintenance stickers. I had like a different organizing system, so I ended up cutting up a bunch of like full sheets of stickers a long time ago. I'm actually like revamping the way I'm doing all of my like loose sticker storage. Obviously you guys have seen like my Chrissy Ann Designs binders and things like that and like how I store like my Coffee Break Planner stickers, but I'm trying to like revamp some things. So I think that's gonna be happening sooner rather than later, but I will actually show you guys once all of the items like get back um, I've ordered a few things, but it'll it'll be a little bit. It's probably gonna be about a month before I actually tell you guys all my secrets. All right, and this sheet is actually from Design Pandemonium. That's this little sheet that I showed um, that my planner friend Krista gave me, so that's exciting. And then my oil change appointment's at 4 p.m., so I'm just gonna write that in here because it's kind of like a, a cluster down there right now. Ooh, come on, come on. There we go. And it's not gonna take me to till 6 p.m., but I just got a lot of, I got a lot of crap to do that day, you guys. <laughs> All right, I've got my plan with me. We'll put that in a little bit later. Um, I've got my dog's medication on Monday, so let me find those stickers. I like put everything off camera over here today. Sometimes I'll just pile it up and throw it on the planner, but I don't know. I don't like it. I don't like the way that looks when I'm editing. So let's see here. Let's grab a Doyle head, which these are my favorite. And unfortunately, this um, sticker shop is no longer around. So if you make stickers and you want to make me some Doyle stickers, let me know. I can. I'll, I'll pay you for them. They're so cute. Um, but unfortunately she closed. She did like custom dog head stickers and cat head stickers for lots of different people. Um, she had like some stock images of like, you know, just like a golden retriever and like things like that too. But, um, you know, Doyle was a little interesting. <laughs> so randomly found her, but unfortunately she closed up shop, which is sad. Doyle head just reminds me to do his monthly medication. If you guys have been watching my channel for a little while, you know that Doyle gets medication every single day, but um, this is just a reminder to do his, mo or his monthly stuff. All right, I think I'm just gonna cover up where it says May 1. I don't really care. I understand that it's May 1, it's fine. Um, let me see here. All right, what else do I have going on this week? I don't know if I have anything specific going on during the day. Oh, you know what? I do have, um, yeah. I do have, yeah. Okay, let's talk about that. I do have, yeah. So on Monday, like I was saying before, I'm gonna be setting up the office. So I'm gonna put a little 
thing in here because honestly, I am not going to wear anything exciting tomorrow to work. I am gonna be wearing like a t-shirt and yoga pants because I'm just gonna get dusty and gross again, um, which is fine, but I don't wanna get like, you know, like your nice dress pants and dress shoes, like gross. And I'm just gonna write in um, set up office with like one of these little guys from Adriana Piper, but I need to find another, I need to find some. I need to find some. I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna use a little pencil. Cause like legit, all my pens, all my pencils, like everything is still like in <laughs> the bags. I actually used like a bunch of my own like personal reusable bags and uh, yeah, it's just insanity. We'll do that, just remind myself office. So that's what's happening pretty much all day tomorrow. And hopefully that internet was set up over the weekend. Um, so I wasn't there for that, thankfully. <laughs> I don't wanna be there for that. Um, so yeah. All right, so the duration of the week, I don't know what's going on like, you know, like during the week. Um, I have my videos, so let's put some videos in. So for this week, we've got some fun videos coming up. Obviously this is the plan with me. Duh, you guys know that. And then on Wednesday, my favorites will be up from April. And I've got some cool things in there to share. I've got, I think I've got a couple coupon codes maybe in that one. I'm not, yeah, I'm pretty sure I do. So stay tuned. And then Friday, I am actually planning on doing a trip next year. And I thought Financial Friday would be kind of a cool thing to share like what my plans are and where I'm gonna be going and how I'm factoring that into my budget. It's actually like a work-related plan. So um, like, work like YouTube kind of work. So um, you won't see that out of my like monthly budgets or anything, but I'm gonna be doing a little bit of like a budgeting and allocating monies in my LLC for that. So just wanted to talk about, you know, when you know something's coming up, you can kind of guesstimate how much it's gonna be. Obviously the final numbers are gonna be a little bit closer to your actual travel day or when you start booking, you know, airfare and hotel and things like that. But I have a vague idea of how much it was costing this past year. So anyway, um, I'm gonna go over that on Friday. So I thought that would be kind of a cool time and fun things to do. And you guys yell at me all the time because I forget to put in my <laughs> coffee break planner stickers and my trash cans. So yeah, I actually just ordered another sheet of these because I'm like out of some of the colors. I'm totally out of the greens, but oh well. No, I probably don't need like a work over here, but I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna put it in. <laughs> And I don't think anything is like crazy happening at my office this week, but that's what I say now, right? It'll, it'll hit the fan at some point because that's what happens at work, you know? All right. Oh, Friday Cinco de Mayo. Never knew that. Or I knew that, but you know, whatever. I have some things to do on Saturday. I have been putting off doing some not major adulting things, but things I said I would do and then I just like haven't done them because I've been slacking. So anyway, I am like legit painting all Saturday. I have the paint, it's been here for several months and I just haven't freaking done it. So um, it's actually not the new house, but it is my parents bedroom that I don't I don't stay in their room but it's my parents bedroom and yeah <laughs> I just need to do it so I need to throw the paint cans in my car not like throw them okay like I'm going to place them gently in my car and I need to take them back to Menards and just get the cans like shook up again before I start painting and then I want to look at the actual um like brushes and stuff that I have I just want to make sure that I have like what I'm looking for why is this washi so okay well I guess I guess the washi wants to be all the way down to the bottom wow it's like tearing up the paper this is like extremely sticky washy. Okay, well, what, whatever. Um, honestly, I'll probably be doing it all night long anyways. Yeah, I just need to buckle down and freaking paint, you know? I just, I just, I gotta do it. I gotta do it. So I'll take it back to the, um, to Menards and they will be able to mix it all back up for me so it's like properly mixed and ready to rock and yeah. 
So, all right, I think I'm gonna use one of these and one of these. Oh my gosh. Seriously, come on, there we go. And it's not gonna be orange. I'm just using orange this week, so that's that's what's happening. And actually, I don't like the way this looks. I wanna center this a little bit more. Let's see if I can. Ooh. Oh, oh. All right, let's see. <laughs> let's see if this will work. Uh, yeah, okay, I like that better. Sometimes you just gotta mess with your stickers. Paint the master bedroom. All right, I might not get it all done on Saturday, but I'm gonna try to get the bulk of it completed on Saturday because I've got to prime and paint and I've got to move some furniture around, you know, and that's okay. If I don't get it all done this Saturday, I can do some of it next weekend as well. But Sunday I have to film and I've got NASCAR. All right, so we're, all right, I got my NASCAR stickers over here. Here we go. Here's a Talladega. It's at one o'clock. Oh, did I? Jeez, Emily. Criminy. See, the Coffee Break Planner stickers are nice because they're matte removable stickers, so that kind of came off like like butter, so it didn't like rip up on them. Rip up on my pages, you know? What else am I doing? Okay, I have to do laundry. So I think in the middle of painting, I'll actually do the laundry. No, 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 no. Okay, let's try something different. So last week I actually, actually, it's still currently this week, I guess, but I did my laundry on Friday. And let me tell you guys, like I felt so much more productive that I got everything done like on Friday night versus on Saturday. So I think I'm gonna do the laundry like when I get home. I think I think that's gonna happen. I, I kind of liked that. It made me feel like so much better versus I feel like if you do it on Saturday mornings, like it just lasts like all damn day. And I just, uh, it doesn't, doesn't seem like a good idea, you know? All right, and then I have to film. So I'm gonna use a couple of these different ones. All right, so it's filming day. Oops, come on, come on. I know you're cut. There it is. <laughs> these are kind of, they're not like vinyl, but they're like, uh, I don't know, maybe they are vinyl. They're, they're really nice, but you have to use a permanent marker on these from Design Pandemonium. But sometimes it's hard to like lift off like the first little corner, <laughs> but that's okay. It's very similar to like the Christiane design stickers. Very, very similar. All right, so that's kind of filming day up above here. So that's good. And then I'll edit and stuff down here. Um, sometime this week, and I think maybe, oh, you know what? I have to film either Monday or Tuesday this week. I think it might actually be Tuesday because my April favorites are not going to get done today, unfortunately. So um, let me put that in. So film April fave video. That'll happen right over here. And I'll get that edited and everything. I just, I don't have time today with the things that I want to accomplish and the things that I want to do. So maybe Wednesday I'll, sort the washi situation. I really want to get rid of some stuff. As you guys know, I am moving and I don't want to take certain things with me that I don't really want or need or whatever. I don't know. Like I just, it seems like a really good time to declutter. So I'm gonna sort washi. And I think with some of them that I really like, but I might not want a full roll, what I'll end up doing is like, like these little washi samples that I got, I think I'll make like a thicker sample for myself to keep. And then I'll give away the remaining roll of it because I don't know, it just doesn't, it doesn't seem like I need that much washi, you know? Like I only use like so much in a week, I don't know. And I like to mix it up. I don't wanna use the same thing every single week. Not that there's anything wrong with that, but that's just, you know, not my style. I just wanna like, you know, keep using stuff, I guess. I don't know. Oh, also, I wanna show this to you guys. So I actually got this from Amazon and these are super funny. It's the I Adulted stickers for grownups. Um, so when I saw the book, I was like, oh, this is super cute and I like, you know, looked at the dimensions online thinking that the stickers were gonna be like, you know, about this size. <laughs> no, they're like full-fledged, like when you go to the doctor and you get like 
a shot where you get your blood drawn. Like that's how big these are, but I kind of still like them. I don't know, they're funny. I thought these were hilarious. Like I admitted I was wrong. <laughs> I made a sensible choice. Like these are super hilarious. I called my elderly relative. I did my taxes. Like these are funny. So I don't know if I'll ever use them in my planner because they're just a little bit too big, but I just thought these were funny. So I'll leave the Amazon link below for you guys if you're interested in this because I just, I don't know, I thought it was funny. And then also on Amazon, I got this. It wasn't the same shipment, but it was the same order. Um, People have asked me before like what kind of hand cream I use. Not that my hands are like in really good shape because I touch paper all day, so they're kind of jacked. But um, anytime I do like, I call these like hand videos and then I call like my other videos like face videos. I use this, it's the Hands of Hope Ph by Philosophy. It's the Hand and Cuticle Cream. This one's the four ounce. This is really difficult to find. A Sephora no longer carries this particular product even though they carry Philosophy stuff and then also, Ulta does not carry them either. They only carry like the small one, which I think is like only one ounce or maybe even two. I think it might be one ounce. And for the value of the cost of the item, this is way better in value and it feels nice on your hands. It's not super greasy. And I literally put this on like right before I film and it doesn't like get the pages gross. So I actually bought two because they're so hard to find, but Amazon had them. So I'll leave a link below if you guys are interested. Also speaking of links, um, I always put my pens that I use um, down below as well. This is the Papermate Ink Joy gel pen. Um, I use the five and the seven and then this is the Pilot Ultra Fine Point permanent, which I love. So I, I use both of them. Um, I kind of like intermix them. I think, yeah, this spread, I only used the, um, permanent marker. However, on my last spread, I used, you know, some of the gel pen as well, which I love. It's great. And also, um, there is a link below with a unique clickable link, which takes you to the Erin Condren website. This is an Erin Condren planner. The new planners are actually coming out very, very soon. The pre-sale is happening on the 4th, but since I signed up for a specific kind of email notification a long, long time ago, I think like back in January, I can actually shop tomorrow on May 1st and um, order my stuff there. So there's like a pre-pre-sale, but unfortunately, if you haven't signed up for those emails, you don't apply for that. But there is a pre-sale on the 4th and then on um, I think that they're gonna start shipping them in the middle of May, I think. Um, and that's for the new life planners, the 2018 versions. There's a lot of different things that are happening with the Erin Condren life planner, tons of different varieties. I'm really excited to see them. I've been watching a lot of the ladies that have already gotten their Erin Condrens to, you know, like for promotion or whatever, to kind of like show online what, you know, the new features are and do a walkthrough and stuff. I haven't 100% decided on what I want, but I'm pretty clear on what I think I want, but I wanna look at all the different varieties before. Um, I will be doing a 12 month calendar, so I will be doing December, not December, but January 1 through December 31, so I won't be in my new planner until then, but as soon as I get my new planner, I will show you guys so you can see the differences and things like that and then decide if you wanna buy one. Um, however, if you're interested in buying a new planner or even like they've got like new sticker books and like like new fun things, um, feel free to click the link down below. What will happen if it's your first time signing up for the Erin Condren, you'll put in all of your information. You'll get a couple of different emails from Erin Condren and one of them will actually have a $10 off coupon code that's unique to you. So it's gonna be like letters and numbers and things. So when you get that, you apply it to your balance and your cart and then you get $10 off of your first purchase. It doesn't have to be a planner, it can be anything. And then also what will happen when your item ships, then I get a $10 off coupon code to use for like hauls and giveaways, like the giveaway I just did with all those hardbound notebooks. Uh, that is because I was able to give all those away because of referral credits from a lot of you guys. So thank you so much. And that just, you know, helps my channel. And I love to give back to you guys as well. And, you know, show you, you know, what I'm using and how I'm using it and all that kind of stuff too. So anyway, I am going to go for now. Thank you so much for watching today. I hope you guys are doing wonderful. And I will see you all in my one Wednesday video, which will be my April faves, and Friday will be a fun, different little financial Friday. So if you like the video, feel free to give it a thumbs up. Uh, feel free to subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye, guys!